Hi and welcome to the 2017 paper 2 of the junior share higher level. Just getting started here with question 10. Okay, and while I'm getting ready, I'd advise you to just try pause the video and just give the question a go. Uh, if you're stuck or want to just check your answer, the answer is on the next page. Okay, so let the video play on. Uh, additionally, if you want me to send on these notes with the screen grabs of the questions and the worked answers, just send me an email at Shane Troy at gmail.com that email address is in the description for the video below so question 10 here let's get stuck into it it's a 10 c part a and b are marked together they have a coordinate diagram below shows the triangle a b c so we have it there a uh, b c i uh, see it's all in the positive the first quadrant of the coordinate geometry diagram where both x and y are positive okay that should make things a little bit easier on us then part A here is asking us to write down the coordinates of the points A, B, and C. So this should be fairly handy at junior or higher level, okay? You're looking for to find the X value first, so this is the X axis. Okay, the line here is corresponding with 2. So that coordinate is uh, X goes first, then Y. Now, I'd be assuming you know this, okay? If you don't, I have a clue what I'm talking about right now. I consider going back to pass, okay? But, um, just time, I guess. So, that's the x value there is 2. Okay, so I've read that off down here. The y value corresponds here to plus 1. Now, the page may look a little strange in the sense that this has been stretched across this way. So, you'll notice that the height of the, of the boxes are different than the width. Ideally, they should look, you know, as, as actual square boxes. So, it's a little bit distorted. So, I've it there, what is it, 2, so 2 in the x, 1 in the y. Make sure you don't invert them, very common to see the y first, the x after, okay. Now b here is 10 in the x, okay, so it's 10 there, and the y value here comes all the way across to 2. Here it doesn't paper, make sure you use a pencil, it's very easy for the eye to track across and then jump up one, and accidentally write in there 2, 10, 3 or something, um, and be incorrect. The last value C is up here at the top of the triangle. It's 4 on the X, so let's put a 4 in there, and the Y value there is plus 5, so 5. Now, that should correspond to my answers here. What have I done wrong here? Okay. Now, there's a good example of where uh, I've messed up here, okay? So, I got the A value right, the B value I put in, I... Would have, I, went just, I went across, thinking in my head, whatever way I was doing, A, B, C. But that's incorrect. B is, should be 10, uh, 2, and then the B should be 4, 5. So they're correct, but it, they're inverted. Now, that would usually mean a deduction of marks. And it depends on how strict they are being. It could drop me to the 6, or it could be judged as a misread. Okay, um, Probably a misread, assuming my part B was correct. So I'll fix that now. Okay, apologies for that. That should be fixed by now. Um, obviously, I did that on purpose to uh, highlight that uh, particular error. But if you believe that, I've got a, a pony for sale. Um, so I fixed it. So the B value there is 10, 2. And the X value for the C point is 4. And the Y value is 5. Now, again, mistakes happen. Um, just posing his concentration and trying to read the question again. Reading back over the paper, I might have caught that but again. I might not have caught that as, as an actual error in the real thing. So we'll keep going. So B P here is show that A, B, C is a right angle triangle uh, without measuring. Okay. Now, you could, if you could measure it, you could use Pythagoras theorem. Okay. But you're not, that's, that's kind of closed off for you. You could calculate the length of A, B, the length of A, C, and the length of C, B, and show the three calculations, and then um, use Pythagoras and prove it that the hypotenuse equals the sum of the square of the two sides. That's a lot of work, okay? Um, a simple thing would be, if you think about what makes up a right angle triangle, that this doesn't look like it, because again, it's distorted, okay? But if you brought, the, that is a right angle triangle. By definition, okay, the largest angle is right angle. You, and you're told that it is a right angle triangle, okay? Now, if it is, then the slope of AC and the slope of CB should be perpendicular, okay? And when you multiply two slopes, two, a perpendicular slope by its, the, by its non-perpendicular slope, you always get negative one. Okay, that's this formula I was highlighting right there. 
At a juice or higher level, that's kind of expected you, that you would be known that. Okay, if you're asked to prove something, that's the method you should be following, okay? It's the recommended method. So I'm going to use the slope of AC, okay? So I'm basically using rise over run. So it's going up four, going across two units. So four over two, which gives you the, the number two. So that line segment AC has a slope of two. Now the line CB, okay, again, doesn't look right angled because it's distorted, but it is right angle triangle. That goes up by, so from here to here, minus, actually it goes down three, okay, goes going downwards, uh, it's negative three, and it's going across one, two, three, four, five, six, that's correct. Now minus three over six is the same thing as minus half, okay. So if two, if the slope by its other slope equals minus one, then they're perpendicular slopes, and therefore it's right angled. Okay, so it's two times minus a half equal to minus one, but it is, okay, therefore they're right angled. So saves a lot of time, okay, by the distance, uh, get the distances and then Pythagoras. Be fairly onerous, okay, um, there's probably other ways of doing this, but that's, the, that's this would be the quickest way to my thinking. Um, so B, then a part C then. Uh, hence, or otherwise, show that the area of the triangle ABC is 15 square units, okay. Now what I could have done here is I could, okay, um, bring this across to zero, zero. Bring this, this translates the same way, so it would end up being this triangle here, okay. And then this one would be two over. Okay, now let's use that bad drawn, but whatever. I could have translated it to where one vertice is at zero, zero, and use the two new points here in the area, uh, coordinate geometry area formula, which is given to you in the maths tables, okay. I could do that, okay, I'm being a bit long-winded, but should, in one sense, the reason I'm showing that is to say that you should know how to do that, that formula. Uh, I've marked it a few, the last few years, and it wasn't even certain, but it was terribly answered. People could use the formula, but they forgot to translate the points. Okay, very, very common error. Now, a quicker way here, to my mind, would be to f use a half base by height, okay? So you have the base, if you can find the perpendicular height, okay, happy days, okay? So I think that's what I did here. And I'm using AC and I'm finding the C now four times two. What am I doing here? Okay, so I paused it there just to figure out what I had done in the notes myself. But if I know this end here, that's the base that's that's the base, okay? And this C value here will be the perpendicular height. Okay. So the length of AC now it's also given by this triangle here, the, the hypotenuse. See a little bit of a difference there? So there's two on the base here and four on the, on the, on the, on the side. So I've used Pythagoras' theorem here to calculate the length of AC is a square root of 20. Okay, I've done the same thing here with the list in CB, which you could make up from this triangle here. Okay. So what's that? Six units along there and uh, three units up. So three squared plus six squared equals square root of 45. So now I have the length of those two sides, the square root of 45, and it's just a half base by height then. Okay. Um, I've done that there. I filled in the two numbers, square root of 20 by square root of 45. I suppose times a half. Put the calculator, I got 15 square units. Happy days. And again, there are other ways of doing that. Okay. So um, I'm sure. Okay. This seems to be the fastest, but that's not necessarily the case. Um, you'd have to try it out different ways to figure that one out. So part D, I'm going to go back and just leave part D blank here for a second. So find the length of CD. Okay, give your answer in third form. Okay, remember that the area of ABC equals 15 square units. So if you think about it, I now know the area of this triangle. Okay, that's equal to a half base by height. So if the base is AB that I'm using, Perpendicular height is, is has a value. Okay. Now, 15 equals a half base by height. There's two unknowns there. A, B is unknown. Okay. And C, D is unknown. Now, I can calculate A, B using Pythagoras. That's what I've done here. A half A, B times C, D is 15. Now, I've done the square 65. I've used, I've done it down here. Just use Pythagoras. Square root 20. Um, see now, uh, squared plus the square root of 45 squared equals hypotenuse squared. Now I got, they do right, okay. Um, I've gotten square root of 65, so I'm assuming it's right, okay. And I end up with um, a half the 
base by perpendicular height, which I don't know, equals 15. Bring the half, 65, okay, bring it across. And I end up with this figure here. Okay, now I brought the, think I brought the two up, and then the 65 across. So, uh, there's different ways to do that here, and it's all the same way, it's just different ways of expressing it. Um, hopefully that makes sense. Um, if not, just simply the fact that the two is, is on the bottom of the far side. When it comes across to the right-hand side, it's multiplying, and it's on the top. 65 was here, multiplied on the left hand side, it comes across, it comes divided on the, on the right. And hopefully that will make sense of where I got this. That ends up being 15 times 2 is 30 over square 65. My calculator didn't um, give that in different units, okay, or at least I don't recall it did. So that's, that's the answer. Okay, and I probably should write the word units there just to cover my proverbial. And I think that's it for question 10. Okay, so it's tricky enough, okay. Um, no calculations that are outrageous. A lot of use of Pythagoras. Uh, if you know your triangles, it's an easy question, okay? But it's still a challenging question. So I'll stop there and see you on question 11.